another little January day. And drive is underway, although it's pretty quiet at the moment. Bringing it in slowly. Guns are all lined out. It looks like uh, a familiar figure there. Don't need to do a commentary because I've got Pistol Pete to my left doing it. He's tapping so hard on that stick, all the birds are running back the other way. That's the first one through. Not much you can say about that, is there? Night. Nice culprit. Oh, he's dripping a bit, but didn't get shot. No, oh, he didn't. Better hen. Horn's just been blown, that's the end of that little drive. There's quite a lot of shots out the other side for guns in the field, so uh, there you go, won't be a lot of picking up to do, we'll be off to the next drive. Well, that was the pond drive, and now we've moved up into a little drive called Frank's, in memory of an old keeper friend of ours. Guns are right up through the spinny, <laughs> both ways. Dog straight on it, he's gone past it though, they both have. He's going across the crossroads. He's still going. That one's just there, Mike. And copper coming back through. He's hit. Dang. Old copper, he's in trouble. Just that bit there, see? And he's hit. He's hit way back down the track. And again. Come on, reload! Up with them today a bit. In here. Another lot of wings flying here. This bit's Shot by the young gentleman there, I believe. And Beat is coming back through the trees, following a pretty successful drive, I would think, for a little woodland spinny. Caught up with a few there. George looks like he's pegged a couple. Not really. Just helping out bringing guns birds back. There's Trevor coming back with a few. As expected. It's like we've had an early 11 seas today. So it must be a master plan in that. Well done, Trev. I knew there'd be a few down there. 
There's the pearls of wisdom sat in their favourite place to uh, observe the shooting. Had to change plans a bit here because uh, Trovey wanted to do a goshawk or killed a pheasant there and uh, all the others were out of the drive so we uh, had to you know, change plans. So we've come over to Stop Cops and uh, hopefully this will work out okay. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. There's the sage and his mate. They're still on the seat, watching. These are coming into the cover crop now, so we should start seeing some more birds soon. Birds coming across now. One shot behind there. Must be running. Looks like the dogs have picked it. But maybe they haven't yet. It's the end of that drive. Pick up a few birds and we're moving on to the next one. Little end of season drive we do around the farm buildings. And because it's that time of day, on the soundtrack we've either got the Luftwaffe or the Archangels of Baghdad. Today I think it's the Archangels of Baghdad. Drives underway, I can hear the sound of beaters in the wood there. I can hear the guinea fowl in there, the farm guinea fowl getting excited. Yeah, you wouldn't want to argue with one of them if you were an IS member. There's Jane on the flank, it's like the birds running out the side of the drive. And here he comes. Hope he realises they're beaters and not uh, Isis. That's a bird of prey of some sort. Kestrel, I think. They're dipping out that end behind the barn. Look at them. They obviously know where home is. And it's not out this way. I'm so fighting against this. Those birds are going all ways except where you want them to go. The sun's not helping at all. It's right into them. I'm going back over the top of the wood a little bit. but. Uh, not too clever. There's Ron directing operations or not, as the case may be. You need a certain kind of day to do this drive, and this this hidden it, I'm afraid. Well, that looks like they called a halt to this one. So let's see what's next. Come back in another little woodland spinning drive. Hopefully, we can see a few birds here. Another gun in there. There's Dan. I don't think Ron knows this gun because he hasn't started trying to coach him yet. Well, we'll keep going. It's a bit of a hodgepodge, but we'll put it together in the end. Another little woodland drive. Been a few shots already. I haven't seen it ain't come down as yet. And another one. Follow boy. And another one. James' dog is about 200 yards away. Come on in! Come on, my boy! He said, there might be another pheasant in here, mother. I'm going to have a look. Another one gone out. Yeah, a little hen just went out. I didn't see it, though. No. Come on, flag up, you two. Look busy. I think this is holiday camp. To get their gun there back. goes the horn. Oh, he got his gun back. I saw about the commentary, but Pete was telling a story. But uh, oh, we'll, you won that. We'll play that back on YouTube. They should be quite interested what in that you story. Do is look on in the shooting times. Fancy shooting times. Read it. I laugh. Hello, Jim. 
the hunter's yeah. return. Now he's come far with chuck in the back <laughs> truck. <laughs> Get your head down, somebody shot at Woodcock. Well, we come out for a walk in the woods and we we stumbled on an encampment of travellers here. One of them is very famous and well known. See what we got to put up with, Andy? Yeah. Could be a lot worse. They know we're sat here, but... The yeah, it don't matter. People on the golf course, they, they don't know they're going to get shot at. Watch the woodcock, Mike. Woodcock in the sun. Keep your heads down. Well done. Is everybody safe? A little, a little woodcock. Woodcock yeah. burn? Yeah. Well, these beaters look like they've given up. There's a yeah. pheasant there, a little hen going back. And she's actually got up a bit. Got away with it as well. Good luck to her. Well, I just called the official horn's gone now, so that is it for this drive.